Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to install an upgraded Hooter to a 2013 Suzuki SX4. We're going to have to access the standard Hooter, which is somewhere behind the grill over here. To remove the grill section, we're going to remove four 10 more bolts. One, two, three, and four. Once those are removed, there's two plastic clips on each side, one and two. We're going, okay. to be We're going to pull the bumper forward and reach in from the top with a stubby nose uh, Phillips point screwdriver. And there are five screws we need to undo. One at the top right, one at the top left, one at the bottom right, one at the bottom left, and one at the top center. Once we've removed the screws, we've got little plastic clips we need to undo. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that we've got the grill off, we can access uh, behind it where we've got the standard hooter. I'm just going to unplug the um, standard plug from the hooter and make a connector that fits into there. We will be mounting our new horns or hooters in this position, one on this side and one on that side. So we're going to have to make a piece of wire that goes from here to the double, the two new ones. Made myself a small wiring loom. That plug over here. This end's going to plug into the normal original horn or hooter plug, and we run it to the other two new trumpet hooters. And we've got their two earth cables connected that'll just go onto here when we bolt it up. I'm going to be using the brackets that came with the double hooter kit. And we're going to be mounting them one over here. And then the other one on the other side over here. And we're using the latch, the bonnet latch mechanism. So we're only going to undo one bolt on each side at a time because we don't want the mechanism to adjust and then we've got to get it adjusted correctly for the bonnet to close. And the end result I've got the two new hooders fitted on their brackets with all the wiring and I've left the original one in place and I've just connected to the original wiring so that if ever we need to we can remove the these two and go back to the original ones. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed that DIY video on the installing nation of the Suzuki SX4 um, upgraded horn. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that'll be up here. And if you want to actually see the testing of the horn uh, video, I will post that and that'll be up here. Hope you have a good day.